beautiful people. We just drove about six hours from San Diego. Just arrived at Goodyear Skate Park. Al, he's in his car making some food. We're about to check out this skate park. It's one of my favorite in Arizona. I think it has some of the biggest, the best transition out of this whole state. And that is a big claim. So some people might be upset by that. But yeah, we're gonna give you a little tour of this amazing skate park, get a session. Like I said, we drove six hours and that's just what you do when you're skateboarding sometimes. it's that's really gonna make you a better skater. And that's something I'll be making more kind of conversations about in the future videos after this one is just that traveling and getting out of your normal area that you skate is gonna make you progress and skate a lot better. You're gonna learn tricks faster. You're just gonna get better at skateboarding when you start traveling. So yeah, that is something I definitely wanna discuss throughout this video. Let's jump inside of the skate park and show you how amazing it really is. This is definitely one of those older skate parks and the way that you can tell they always have these like insane like i don't know like bizarre infrastructure around it. they have these crazy fence where you can't jump over it they do have a fence like this in poway kind of by me where it was like a i think a three million dollar thing to install and then later they didn't even use it as you can see they opened it up right here so you have this whole area that's open and then you have this area that's locked kind of a waste of city budget if you ask me but the thing that makes me enjoy skate parks a lot is when they have a big open space as you can see nice open area around me you got the street course over here give you a little tour show you all the flow they got a nice big snake run over here kind of mellow snake run and then a bigger snake run over there. there's lots of really good transition i think al is gonna love this skate park he's never been here so uh we'll see him tearing it up i have been here a couple times but let me just show you around this amazing skate park You also gotta love when skate park designers, uh, the builders, the process people, you know, the people at the city council meetings advocating for the space, they really utilize it. Like you got this bank right here, but on the edge, you got this little tranny sort of Taco Bell thing. Not really Taco Bell, like a berm with some copy on it. So that's really cool. I like when skate parks are a little intuitive. Like they have a pyramid, then there's a gap onto the ledge. Like there's a lot of really cool things here, even though it's, you know, it's not a huge space. They just did a lot with the amount of space that were alligated to it. So yeah, a lot of kind of round areas, a lot of hips, different types of transition. There's steep stuff, there's mellow stuff. And then uh, they have this spine too. It's like a crazy spine obstacle where it's almost like a foot gap in the middle. So you can go from the big side to the small side. I love this kind of coping too. It's like this flat, super flat coping. You can do a lot of tail slides. There's just a lot of possibilities. Like you could probably fit your whole board on there, like rock onto the other side. I think it's the perfect width. Yeah, almost, look at that. Almost the perfect width, but a pretty cool obstacle. Look at all this space that you have right here. Like it's good because you can be a street skater, or training skater, bull skater, freestyle, flat ground, doesn't matter. You're gonna have fun at a skate park like this. And that's what I really like about it. Al's already in the bowl over there. Look at that, he jumped straight up on top of that thing. First thing he did, got into the skate park and jumped on top of the cradle thing. That was the first move, huh? First move, yeah. That was wild. You gonna roll in on that? Just one of those parks where you can skate along, skate around everything and constantly be hitting a new obstacle. Like there's probably over a hundred obstacles in this one skate park because they just did a really good job of utilizing the space here. And you can see nice and open over here. It's great because you can learn how to skate here or if you're an experienced skateboarder, you can have a lot of fun as well. Then you got this big bowl right here too. Woo, forgot about this thing. It's a gnarly bowl. Some beefy pole coping. Yeah, so as you can already tell, there's lots of different stuff to skate here. Some really big tranny, some steep pool tranny. You got the street tranny. And uh, this is my kind of place to ride. This is just the kind of stuff that I enjoy so much.
sorry, we've just been skating this little snake right here. How's it going? Dang, I stopped my dialogue for you. I wanted to go all the way over the top of it. Oh, wow. I can't find the line. You can find it. So yeah, we've just been having a lot of fun in the snake run area. In the street area, it's just like a lot of fun stuff. We gotta make our way to, back to the big transition, the big snake run area, because I think that's where we'll really, uh, you know, utilize this amazing skate park. Recently set up a whole complete just for skating big transition. It's a much bigger board. I'll leave a link up above. And this area might be a good area to be using that bigger board because uh, my board right now, it's a little bit smaller for this big stuff. So I'm gonna try it out. It's a little intimidating. Just kind of zest it out and then see if uh, maybe pull out the pads, maybe the vert board. We'll see. You're just gonna kind of get some rolls around this really big rad snake run. This is the board that I was just riding and this is my big transition board that uh, I'm gonna be riding on this big boy. We'll do another one. Yeah, we do. And we can even come back here. Yeah. We might we probably will come back here. I will. Yeah. It's one of those situations where day 1 I don't want to like hurt myself and then like not be able to skate for the rest of the trip. I feel like I'm making a lot of excuses lately and I totally am. Probably cuz he's just hanging around me. Yeah. You know, and it rubs off on him. We're getting mastered on these excuses. Yeah, yeah. This is one thing to skate for. 